The USBC Open Championships is the world's largest participatory sporting event and will have anywhere from 40 to 80,000 bowlers each year. My name is Albert Williams. I am from Prince George, Virginia, and I'm a senior at James Madison University, and this is my first time in the National Bowling Tournament. El Paso was pretty fun. Um, I was kind of confused because I didn't think anything was out here. I knew El Paso was out here, but I did not think that it was going to be able to be big enough to hold the Open Championship. So I was kind of surprised, but it worked out pretty well. Our first trucks rolled into town first week of January. We've got 40 truckloads, 18 wheelers of materials uh, that we take with us from city to city. And then while in town, uh, we also bought uh, all of our lumber and materials locally to help the economy in El Paso. The whole process took 64 days from the days the truck rolled in to the ribbon cutting. And when we're done here in July, it'll take about two weeks to take it all out. And we'll do our best to donate uh, all salvageable materials and walls and things uh, to a local charity. My name is John Hupfer. I am a native El Pasoan and an avid bowler. Well, you know, part of the reason we like to bowl in this tournament is because we like to get out of town. However, there's a pride factor in hosting the tournament in your own city. You're competing against the lanes. In my mind, you're really not, I, I'm not competing against other bowlers. I'm competing against the lanes, and the lane conditions this year are uh, really tough. And I think the USBC's done a real good job of promoting El Paso. As far as the setup goes, this is the biggest venue we've ever had. A lot of great bowlers have come through these doors. And uh, just a, a lot of participation and uh, accomplishments celebrated here at our event each year. It's kind of a mix of history and tradition, and of course staying on the cutting edge of technology and the best that the bowling world has to offer. And we're going to run daily for 128 consecutive days uh, until July 12th. So during that time, more than 40,000 bowlers and families and friends will come through town. Uh, just a really one-of-a-kind venue. My name is Leonard Jewell. Well, I've been bowling in the national tournament this is my 31st year and my goal now is to bowl four more years so I can get another plaque because you get a plaque every five years after after 25. I think the city of El Paso did a very good job of selling themselves. It's very nice to, to have all the people coming into town and stuff I think it really uh, helps El Paso.